Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to stop in because I had the chance. It's Monday afternoon and I thought maybe we could, you know, catch up. Uh, I didn't have this attached originally to the original story this morning, but we'll just call it a Monday afternoon sidewalk. I just want to take a couple minutes of your time and point out something that you might not uh, know about on, on if you're on Facebook. There's a lot of guides starting to post their stuff on Facebook now. And if you check there, um, you'll find that uh, actually they're doing it kind of backwards the way you should do it. But the thing is, is um, that's where they're basically putting out their information on their successes and stuff like that. Eric Glass and Summerlot and a bunch of other guys um, actually are kind of limiting themselves because they're using um, Facebook primarily and not their website. So it kind of sucks away from their, their website traffic, but, you know can't make them think but uh, they're cool cats anyway um, so take a look at those guys if you're on Facebook if you're not then you're missing out and not much I can do for you um, as you'll see in what you're reading about, uh, today on the Monday morning sidewalk you know there's changes coming to Texas Flycaster one of the first things you want to do um, to continue reading in the future is to go ahead and register at Texas Flycaster be a registered whatever you want to call it, member guests or whatever, because that leads to other things that come in the future and you might as well do it in the next few weeks because that'll make the changes that are coming that much easier to deal with later on. I'm going to make this really quick because I know you guys are busy and it's hot. It's really hot today. So um, my tip at the end of the, you know, at the end of every Monday morning or Monday afternoon in this case, sidewalk, uh, most of these tips these days are kind of related to kayak fishing because that's going on a whole lot right now. And one of the things I really like and carries as an accessory all the time is a ShamWow. These guys, uh, these German-made ShamWows are actually really, really handy. You get them in bundles and generally that's about the only thing I ask for for Christmas these days or birthdays or whatever is more of these because they're very handy. Um, when you're kayak fishing, you just drop them down in the in the bottom of your boat, or any even if you're if you're on a boat, these things are really great. So think about a sham well, and that's one slight uh, tip for the uh, day. Make sure you keep your eyes on the website. Coming up in the next couple of days, there's going to be a two-part story. Probably should have been more parts to it, but uh, I tried decided to make it long on uh, fly fishing clubs and how they can salvage their. Um, Impending doom, you know, the train wreck that's coming, what I call a demographic train wreck that's coming straight at them. There's probably, a, this is probably not, the, you know, the perfect solution, but I have an idea of how that some of these clubs can, can kind of stop the tailspin. Um, just going to have to read quite a bit because it's a whole lot of writing and there's certainly not any video involved. Um, it's based on my experiences with, my limited experiences with fly fishing clubs nearby. Um, and on a, a regional level and uh, somewhat on a national level too with, with other experiences way back in the past. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, just email me, fly at texasflycaster.com or uh, you know, put a comment at the end of this, this story. Have a great week. Make sure you check back and whatever you do, be sure you register on Texas Flycaster. It's the registration you go through like you're going to comment. You don't have to comment. Just register because it leads to other things later on. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.